Hi there, my name is Taniel Solange Winner, and welcome to my YouTube channel, which will highlight the successes and challenges of my PhD journey. I recently started my PhD at Georgia Tech and Emory University's Joint Biomedical Engineering Program. But before I get into those details, allow me to give you a brief background on myself. I was born and raised in a twin island state of Trinidad and Tobago, which is located about seven miles above Venezuela. I was born to my wonderful parents, my mom, Carol, and my dad, Shane, who had four kids, and I'm the second eldest of my siblings. My parents split up when I was about 11 years old, and my mom soon after remarried my stepdad, James, who had his own four kids. So now I'm the fourth eldest of a family of eight kids. Anyway, I went to high school at St. Joseph's Convent, Port of Spain, where I did my CXC and A-levels, and then I decided to do my undergraduate degree in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, at the University of Pennsylvania. At Penn, I studied bioengineering, which was very interdisciplinary and very broad. So I decided to zone in a little bit on creating and designing things, so I submatriculated into the robotics program at Penn. Post-graduation, I juggled with the possibilities of either starting my PhD or going into the working world. I secured full-time employment at the Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory where I was an engineering post-college appointee. A lot of the work done there is confidential as they fall under national security. However, I did have the opportunity of working with subcortical and cortical devices which are used to record signals from the human brain. Following that year of employment, I decided to take a year off before making another grand decision. I took that time to travel. I went to the Netherlands and I stayed in Eindhoven, such a beautiful city, and I saw other cities like Rotterdam and Amsterdam. I also took that time to tutor kids in Trinidad and Tobago. Okay, I think that's enough background. So I'm here. I'm in Atlanta. I'm at Georgia Tech and Emory. I'm pursuing my PhD. Here is some video footage of what it was like when I first came on campus and everything that followed that. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. I have faced numerous challenges since arriving on this campus and embarking on this journey. And essentially, that's what this whole channel is about. Me sharing information, sharing what I'm going through, and you guys could post questions and comments, and you know I can get back to you on, you know, what it's like being up here in this new environment, embarking on this journey, and what are some things that you can do to overcome certain obstacles, things like that. In March, we had something called graduate recruitment, where the program invited all the applicants that they thought were best suited and gives them an opportunity to see the campus a little bit, meet professors, and try to find a match for who you would like your advisor to be. Following that weekend, I emailed some professors and tried to get a gauge of what their research was about to see if I would be a good fit for their lab. I decided to come up early to kind of rotate in labs and check out different, different environments and see what would be the best fit for me. The biomedical engineering program at Georgia Tech essentially allows you to pick your top three professors and submit it to the department and they will decide based on your rankings and all the professors' rankings of students who gets matched for a best fit. So when I first came to campus, I was very overwhelmed with moving in, orientation, class selection, finding a lab or advisor that I thought was well suited for my research interests and personalities and amortizing to this whole new experience. It's very important for me to find support groups throughout that time because you don't want to feel alone and lost and confused and just suffer the consequences of that. So it was really, really helpful for me to be a part of Biomedical Engineering Alliance for Minorities, so it's called BEAM, and it's a bunch of minority students who are embarking on their PhD as well. And we come together and we support each other. Group Me in particular was super helpful because I had so many questions. I was lost many times and I didn't know what to do in terms of like orientation things and filling out forms and stuff like that. So that was very, very useful. 
So I would advise when you get to campus to make sure and form as many connections as you can with people and groups that you know you feel comfortable talking to. The first disappointment in the program was the class registration. We had essentially five days to register for our courses. And on the fifth day, if you were not in your course, that was it. So I was waitlisted for a machine learning course that I really wanted to take this semester. And the class just was full from the start. So I ended up only taking two courses this semester instead of three. Bummer. However, I've realized that through this disappointment, it actually is really, really helpful that I, actually, that I didn't take three courses. Guess why? Because, dum, 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 dum. I was not matching the advisor matching process. I felt like I met many professors with different backgrounds and different personalities. Some of them were able to connect me to other people who they thought would really help out my career. Others were less interested in my actual career and professors that I really wanted to work with have no funding. Some had great personalities and I was like, yes, I could totally work with this person. But then I'm like, Ugh, their research isn't as aligned with what I want to do. And then I met professors where the research was like, yes, this is exactly what I want to do. However, their personality was just like, I don't think I can work with this person or this person isn't that interested in me as a PhD student or, you know, someone aspiring to study these things. I wasn't really comfortable with most of the options um, of professors that I met during the initial three week period where you're supposed to be shopping around and interviewing professors. So my options, I felt like, were not the best fit for me. And unfortunately, at the end of the whole thing, I was not matched with an advisor, which means that I still need to continue shopping around for advisors. It's been very difficult finding an advisor after the advisor matching process um, because most advisors now have a student in their lab already or they don't have funding. So the issue really boils down to funding because had I had the funding to pursue my PhD, I can join any lab and say, hey, I want to study this instead of having to fall under exactly what the professor wants you to research. So that's been the challenge initially. I'm now encouraged to apply for fellowships. For example, I'm applying to the NSF fellowship, the GEM, in hopes of attaining some level of funding next year, um, which can help me out in terms of what kind of research I conduct in the future. So it's getting a little windy outside and it's pretty chilly in Atlanta. I don't know why. I came to the south thinking it's going to be warm and it's not warm. So bear with me. I should have brought a jacket, but you know, when I started the video, it, it was feeling pretty nice outside. Moving on. In the midst of all of this mayhem, not getting my class that I wanted to take, as well as not being at match with an advisor, and still searching for the best fit, I decided that I need to remain healthy and happy. And as such, I continue my Latin dancing classes. I go to dance at the, at the Fuego y Hielo Dance School, which is a very, very popular dance school because it's taught by Fuquan, who apparently is very famous and he likes the most about it. And I also do CrossFit three days a week at CrossFit Midtown. And it's been an amazing experience for me because, and because I'm paying for it, it forces me to go every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 7 a.m. I try my best to make it. If not, I just reschedule what day I go. But it's very important for me to maintain a balanced lifestyle throughout the midst of all this PhD drama. I did not expect so many curveballs to be thrown at me within the first month of embarking on this journey. However, it's all a part of the process, right? Nothing in life comes easy. So deal with the curveballs, deal with the disappointments, move forward, keep pushing, and in the end, you become stronger. That is my mantra, and that is what I'm working with. So I will update you on how this whole thing goes within a couple weeks. And I am looking forward to turning these obstacles into blessings because I know that the best is yet to come. Have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching. Post comments, questions. I will get back to you and I'll see you in a couple of weeks.
with good news.